Welcome back to The Ed Show. The big finish tonight, the guys who told America to whip it back in the 80s are out with a brand new song telling voters to remember Seamus this November. The band Devo just released Don't Roof Rack Me Bro, a song that pays tribute to Mitt Romney's Irish setter. You know the story. Years ago, Mitt Romney strapped Seamus to the roof of the family station wagon, then drove 12 hours to Canada on vacation. Heck of a ride. But according to Ann Romney, Seamus just loved the experience. The dog loved it. The dog would like but the leap dog got up sick, into right? Once he, we traveled all the time, and he he ate the turkey on the counter. I mean, he had the runs. Years later, the story just keeps hounding Romney. Even President Obama had some fun at Romney's expense just the other day. That's what he said about wind power. You can't drive a car with a windmill on. Now, I, I don't know if he's actually tried that. I know he's had other things on his car. <laughs> Now, Gerald Casale, founding member of Devo, has joined forces with the group Dogs Against Romney and wrote the song Don't Roof Rack Me Bro. Take a listen. I'm joined tonight by Gerald Casale, founding member of Devo, and the songwriter behind Don't Roof Rack Me Bro. Gerald, great to have you with us tonight. Appreciate your time. Interesting that you would take the time and the talent and the effort to put this song together. Why did you do it? I guess it's because the story had legs. I don't know. No, it's <laughs> really because, as a dog owner and a pet lover, I was appalled when I found out about this story and realized he wasn't just de not, not denying it. He was doubling down on it, saying, oh, the crate was airtight because his lawyer told him or something. It got more and more bizarre. And um, basically, look, we have a symbiotic relationship with dogs. We created all the breeds. We made them need us. So if we're supposedly superior species, we have a stewardship that requires some responsibility. I just think any 36-year-old man that would do that to a beautiful Irish setter has a real serious something missing behind that tight smile. I don't think there's much you humanity it, down, he, down here. He, he, uh, Gerald, do you think it says something about Mitt Romney's character? That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying, for me, more than anything else you hear about, it's a character deal breaker. Absolutely. You started a website, rememberseamus.com. Yes. How do you yeah. think? How do you think people are going to react to this? Do you think? What, what are you? What are your expectations of this song? Well, predictably, the way they react to everything these days, which is the level of discourse has been so dumbed down by you know uh, uh, the the hot edge of the media that it is all like a WWF SmackDown. You know, everybody's trying to wrestle everybody to the ground and get the knockout punch. It's so stupid because, look, there's 7 billion people on the planet. Uh, we're facing the worst kind of challenges and crises that you can imagine. They require intelligence, uh, uh, reflection, uh, complex solutions. We don't have that, and we don't have that in our politicians whatsoever. Devo did a fundraiser for President Obama in 2008 before he became president. How do you feel about the president four years later? Are you still in, just as enthused? Absolutely not. Now, I don't think anybody with half a brain could be. But look, anybody that still thinks we have a democracy and that the president of the United States is in charge, you know, uh, they still believe in the Wizard of Oz and never pulled back the curtain to see the man behind the curtain. It's more like the movie network where Ned Beatty gives Peter Finch the uh, the big lecture in the boardroom and tells him how things really work when Peter thinks he's a powerful man on TV. Uh, what we have here is the difference between Pepsi and Coke with just a little bit of leeway. Obama's yeah. the lesser of two evils. Obama's definitely the lesser of two evils and it's clear why because he's got some humanity there in his heart. You can see it. and. He's not mean. He's not a mean guy. And my God, 
the world's mean enough and people are suffering enough already you need a doctor that's more i mean a doctor you need a candidate that's more like a doctor that takes that oath that says do no harm i don't see that in mitt romney and paul ryan they're those kind of guys that are so angry underneath they want to make everybody snivel in the dirt Gerald Casale, great to have you on The Ed Show. Good luck with now, your song. I'm sure it's going to be very entertaining, uh, but very meaningful to a lot of people. I have this stuff for you, Ed. I have okay. the hat, and uh, I have this. Remember Seamus, the only real candidate for real change. And all right. And <laughs> go to Remember Seamus Gerald, on Facebook. Good to, all right. Good to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much. That's The Ed Show. I'm Ed Show. <laughs> You have never seen before. And the best that there ever will be. It began with one man. Two decades later, it has grown to include the biggest names in sports entertainment. I get me Gene here. Oh, 
you think? I got the name of Killer Kowalski. Icons. Legends. Larger-than-life personalities who define their time and redefine the future of WWE. Tonight, we celebrate the class of 2012. Legends, legends, icons, icons. Iron Mike Tyson! We are the Four Horsemen, the symbol of excellence! You think you know me? My name is Edge. I welcome you to an era of awesomeness. All have earned their spot in history, their right to stand with legends, and to inspire all that will follow. Please welcome back your host for the evening, Jerry the King Lawler. Thank you. And now it's time for a very special induction. It's an induction into the celebrity wing of the WWE Hall of Fame. And ladies and gentlemen, this bad man has won plenty of gold in, throughout his career, but he will forever be known as Iron. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the baddest man on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, Iron Mike Tyson! The youngest and most dominant world champion in boxing's history and the most controversial athlete of the 20th century, Mike Tyson created a media hailstorm wherever he went. Mike Tyson is the hottest thing in sports. But when Tyson appeared at the 1998 Royal Rumble and on Raw the next night, the road to WrestleMania...